Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, final video where we are going to conclude this uh, module 2 of the VLSI design and testing subject of MOS transistor theory. Okay. There is one more concept left that is CMOS latch up circuits. Okay. That we are going to discuss with the uh, some of the basic introduction of this latch up. Everything we are going to discuss in this video. So stay tuned. Like this video before uh, you go further and uh, watch this video till the end guys because what and all the videos which I am doing, everything is with respect to the exam point of view. Everything is important guys, okay. Please watch each, each and every video till the end and uh, this notes I am going to provide it in the description. Access it and study these notes very carefully because uh, this notes is very very important, okay. Uh, because these notes are uh, provided by us only, we have made it handmade by referring the textbooks and uh, all, okay. So we have this, uh, left with one more, uh, one last concept of CMOS latch up. So let us discuss that latch up. So what is this latch up? While CMOS technology is highly power efficient and widely used, it has a serious potential issue which is known as latch up condition. Okay. This latch up is basically a parasitic circuit effect that can lead to shorting between the power rates that is VDD and VSS that is the supply and the ground. So, in the diff with, res with respect to the changes in the PDD voltage and uh, that affects in the ground voltage VSS, the power rails that is the difference in power that will be getting parasitic circuit effect and that effect is called as latch up. Okay. This may result in some of the results of latch up is high current draw. High current draw means the wastage of current, chip overheating. Uh, overheating of chip would be uh, resulting in the damage of the chip. Next is permanent damage. Right now I have told you. And next is the system fail. Okay. So these are the some of the results of latch up. In early CMOS chips, uh, we had particularly susceptible to latch up. Uh, but in modern CMOS process technology, we use layout. Okay. That layout part uh, that we are going to discuss in the upcoming module, the brief layout structures and all that, which is also very important. And process technology to minimize the risk. Okay, so these are some of the key points which you need to be knowing for latch up. Now let us see what is this latch up. Okay, latch up occurs due to the formation of two parasitic bipolar junction transistors. Okay, uh, this is the main reason for the latch up occurring. It occurs due to the two parasitic bipolar junction transistor BJDs. That is one is PNP and one is NPN for sure within the CMOS structure. Okay, so within the CMOS structures, we have parasitic bipolar junction transistor BJDs. You see here, okay, one is PNP and one is NPN. It is mentioned in the diagram only here. Okay, these transistors form a positive feedback loop. So this is that loop here. This is one loop. This is one more loop. Positive feedback means since it is using a P-type substrate, so that's sorry, since it is using an N-type and B-type substrate, you'll be getting the uh, positive feedback loop, which is similar to the SCR. SCR is the silicon controlled rectifier. Uh, the functioning is similar to that of SCR, which if triggered stays on until the power is removed. Okay, which is the main function of this SCR. That only it follows. Okay, so this is the cross-sectional view here. Okay, this diagram. Very important, guys. For exam point of view, this diagram you need to be knowing. So I'm uh, with these for this explanation. I'm just going to read it out. Okay, this is the diagram here where we have used uh, two layers of uh, two oxide layers. If you observe very carefully here, okay. So this is one oxide layer. This is one more oxide layer, and this is the polysilicon layer. Okay, where we have used two substrate at a time uh, for N channel as well as P channel, where these are uh, shortened here. These two are shorted here with one uh, respect to V in voltage, drain terminals are shorted, source terminals are given to the outward, one is for VDD and one is for the ground. We are using the substrates where the bipolar junction transistor, one is NPN and PNP transistors are connected in such a way to form a loop that is called as the positive feedback loop. Okay, where this is the substrate contact you see here where P plus and N plus the contact point is called as the VSS substrate contact. And in here, the P plus and N plus and this contact is called as the VDD substrate contact. Okay. So, this is the basic diagram of CMOS latch up. So, what does it consider? Cross-sectional view. In a P-well CMOS process, the layout naturally forms a PNP transistor that is emitter, that is P plus source of PMOS, 
the base is n well and the collector is p substrate as shown in the figure in an npn transistor emitter is n plus source of nmos transistor base is a p well collector is the n substrate as shown in this figure could be checking the circuit connections and observing these two transistors are cross coupled forming a feedback cross coupled means they are uh, connected uh, in the opposite direction okay parasitic components involved in this case are t1 that is pnp transistor so this is that pnp transistor t2 npn transistor so this is that npn transistor rs is the resistance on the n, sur n substrate okay this is that rs resistor okay rw is the resistance on the p well okay so this is that rw resistor the higher values of rs and rw the more prone the circuit is to the latch up okay if you want to uh, success with the latch up process the value of this rs and rw should be alternatively higher in order okay how this latch up happens uh, so let us see how this latch up would be taking place first step is a transient event that is uh, like electrostatic discharge or signal overshoot would be getting injected with respect to the excess carriers that is electrons and holes okay that depends on whether npn and pnp transistors are getting activated at a time okay into the substrate or well this forward biases one of the parasitic uh, bjds for example the base emitter junction of t2 okay that transistor turns on and provides base current to the other transistor both parasitic bjds turn on in a regenerative loop pulling large current from vdd to vss okay that loop here this loop here is there right this is responsible for carrying the amount carrying the large amount of current from the drain to source that is from vdd to vss that is from here here according to this loop statement the current flow would be very very naturally occurring in uh, this latch up process okay the circuit enters a low resistance state and stays latched until the power is shut off okay the latch up process would be it is a continuous process since it is a uh, covered in one loop so that's why if it is it would be following this continuous process until the power is shut off okay so this is the uh, how the latch up process is getting happened so this is the equivalent circuit in case in the exam if they ask the equivalent circuit of latch up so this diagram you need to be drawing here okay where here are the substrate n source p source the two transistors bipolar junction transistor one is npn and pnp rs and rw resistors okay and this is the vdd supply voltage and the vss ground voltage okay so this is the equivalent circuit prevention techniques so no need to worry this notes i am going to provide in the description so yeah prevention techniques modern cmos design includes layout and process level solutions to reduce or eliminate the latch up circuit techniques uh, substrate and well contacts connect substrate and well to vss and vdd respectively these contacts drain away injected charge preventing transistor triggering okay so these points are not required because uh, uh, if you want to know these points you should be knowing the layout design techniques that we have not yet studied that we are going to study in module 3 okay so these layout rules are not required for now okay yeah so this was it guys since uh, in this we with this we conclude this uh, chapter of uh, mos transistor theory this was one last concept left of uh, cmos latch up design latch up circuits so i have tried to cover i have tried to put my level best in my explanation and uh, everything till now nine videos are covered for module 2 what and all are the videos which i have covered are very important ones all the questions would be fixed for sure okay each and every question you could be expecting for six to seven or eight marks okay so that's why guys i told you watch this video till the end if you want to understand something okay watch this video because by listening to something only if you listen thoroughly you be understanding uh, like uh, where the uh, circuit connections are made and how the transistors and resistors are interconnected to each other by listening to the explanation and by seeing the circuit in the video you would be able to understand okay 50 percent of the task would be already done there other 50 percent is in case you forget to recall it this notes i'm going to provide it in the description so go and access it uh, recall it once again by just seeing the explanation and checking the interconnections and all and easily you would be able to crack this subject okay because these first two modules are basically uh, because this is not much of a problematic subject the theory based circuit connections and all you should be knowing but from the next module the complete cmos process technology we are going to discuss okay in that 
there is the complete formation of the uh, what to say organization of the substrate formation everything we are going to discuss about how the substrate is getting formed step by step procedure is there in that also that we are going to see in the next module along with that we have layout design layout formation of different different uh, uh, gates uh, uh, which different different gates which you have discussed in module 1 you remember right uh, two input NAND gate, NOR gate, three input NAND gate, NOR gate, inverter, and other circuits. Everything, the layout design, okay? How the layout design is made, uh, that also we are going to discuss, okay? So, that's all for this video, guys. With this, we have completed module two, and uh, around nine videos are there. Go and watch all the videos. Notes will be there, provided in the description. Access it and watch it, okay? And uh, my job is done. We'll see you in, in the next video, and we are going to start with third mod okay so that's all for this video guys like share subscribe to our channel thank you